Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. This afternoon we are taking a look at the CRKT Mossback Bird and Trout Knife. Now, if you've watched my channel before, uh, I did several months ago take a look at the Mossback Hunter which as you can see is a substantially larger knife. And I really liked the Mossback Hunter. It fits the hand great. Um, you know, the, the sheath, not so much, but we'll talk about that. Um, I do like this as well. Not as well as the Mossback Hunter, just because that one fit my hand so well. But I think this is also a very nice knife. And I'd been wanting to pick this up ever since I got the Mossback Hunter. I was just waiting to find a decent sale. Finally did find one, got it for, I don't know, like $18, $19, something like that. Um, the sheath on this, just like the other one, is just this nylon with a plastic insert. Probably not something that's going to hold up long term. And so eventually you'll probably want to upgrade the sheath. But for now, it does work. It's just got the little pocket clip on here. Um, you can carry it in one position. You know, you can't scout carry or anything like that. Uh, but it'll work for now. The knife itself has this uh, textured G10 in a black and sort of a greenish gray. And I think it's pretty nice looking. You've got a good size lanyard hole here if you want to put a lanyard on. You've got this uh, big old bird's eye rivet. The blade itself comes in right around three inches, maybe a little over, a little under, depending on exactly how you're measuring it. And the cutting edge is gonna be about two and three quarter inches. Fairly narrow knife. You know, as I say, this is a bird and trout knife, so it's gonna be a small knife. You might make a good knife for um, you know a, a kid uh, if you wanna get them a, uh, a fixed blade, you know, because it's not gonna to be too big, but still big enough to get stuff done. You know, the tallness of the blade is going to be about half an inch, maybe a little bit more. Um, we're talking about SK5 steel here, which is going to be pretty similar to 1095 and how it operates. Now, of course, you know, heat treat and everything is going to be a big issue on your knives, but um, you're not going to know that until you've actually used it for a while. Uh, but the SK5 should hold up and handle pretty close to a 1095 carbon steel. It does have a coating on here to protect it from rust because it's a carbon steel, so it's not gonna be stainless. Um, this is a Ron Krein design, uh, and I really like some of the knives that he has designed, including the Bossback Hunter. Uh, you can see it's the back of the blade, front of the blade. I do wish this one uh, was a little bit wider this way. I would fill the hand a little bit more. I can get about a three and a half finger grip on here. The fourth finger is just kind of coming off the edge. It's not uncomfortable, um, but if you do have extra large hands, you may be popping off the back end of this. So just be aware of that. But if you are in the market for a bird and trout knife and you're looking for something that is in carbon steel, um, this may be something you want to give a look at, especially since you can get it you know, I see it 18 to $25, depending on where you're buying it from, depending on whether or not you can get it uh, on sale or not. Uh, but I really do like this knife. Again, I prefer its bigger brother, the Mossback Hunter, but the Bird and Trout knife is not bad. Hope you found this interesting. Have a good day. Please subscribe, and I will catch you next time.